Hello world, hello world. Welcome back to my channel. Call me Biz. Dave Chappelle, man. 100% one of the GOATs. 100%. And to some people, he is the GOAT. All right, uh, I always appreciate some Dave Chappelle. Um, so this is Dave Chappelle drug problems. A lot of y'all been asking for this. So here we are, all right? Look, if you enjoy this content, Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, like the video if you like the video. Leave a comment. Let me know you are here, all right? 2024, no more ghost watching, <laughs> okay? So, hey, look, if you ain't got nothing to say, just be like, I was here. I appreciate that. That's love. <laughs> That's love. All right, look, let's go ahead and watch. It's too much shit out there to stress you out. This whole world is drug infested, hate infested, drug infested world. Mm -hmm. Hate drugs. I heard the worst drug story. You know what my friend told me? You know what he's dealing with? His landlord is hooked on crack. That's, that's terrible. Damn. That's pressure. Your landlord's hooked on crack. That means you've got to have the rent. <laughs> he come around. I got the rent. It's not even due yet. It's the 10th. Come on, I need it. <laughs> Let me just get $20 of it now and then uh, just give me the rest of the end of the month. Every couple hours. Hey, look, I'm gonna need some more of the rent. <laughs> this building's falling apart. Things came up. <laughs> Comes home early from a party. Landlord's in the crib going through his shit. What are you doing in my house? Ah! Where's the sink? I came to fix it. <laughs> it's in the kitchen. I thought it was in the drawer. <laughs> I'll fix it tomorrow when I come for the rent. <laughs> You know what I hate about drugs? I hate when like people my age and older get hooked on crack. I hate that shit. You're too, you're too old to be experimenting with the drugs at a certain point. You should be past that. You ain't doing it by a certain point. You're just missing. <laughs> drugs are really for old people anyway. You 75, you've earned the right. Shit, I'm, if I was 75, I'd do coke, heroin, everything. I wouldn't give a fuck. Damn. I'd be walking down the street, they'd be like, boy, that old man is tripping. <laughs> Can't do up. everything. Maybe weed. If you're gonna do something, do a little weed. Smokes. Weed. Weed's not as bad as everything else. So weed is a background substance. You know I mean, you can smoke some herb and still function. And you ain't crisp, <laughs> but you'll function. <laughs> Nothing higher than weed, though. I made that mistake one time. I. I was at a party, some guy gave me some shit. He's like, here, man, take this. It's fucking mushrooms. <laughs> I took it, I forgot all about it, you know. Then a couple days later, I found that shit in my pocket. I'm thinking, why not? Because I'm thinking it's like weed, some background shit. I planned my whole day out like it was weed. <laughs> I'll chew this shit up. Then I'll go to the barber shop, get my hair cut, and then I'll see a movie. Chewed it up. So far, so good. On the right track. Then I was in a barber shop like an hour later. And it's funny because I was just thinking to myself, I was like, ooh, this stuff sucks. <laughs> Tastes like an athlete's foot. I feel sick, but I'm not really high. Then I looked in the mirror. I saw the barber's reflection, man. It looked like, it looked like a big penis was cutting my hair. I freaked out. I started talking to myself, Dave, calm down. You're on drugs. This is what drugs do. Can you know that there is no way that a penis can cut hair. <laughs> but I started freaking out, man. I just couldn't take it anymore. I jumped out the chair, half my hair was cut. I didn't care. I, I didn't. I just gave a barber a handful of money. 
It was weird. The balls opened up. Anyway, I... <laughs> I ran home, man. I ran home as fast as I could. It's tripping, it's tripping. I looked at the clock, it was 2.42. I was like, damn, 2.42. I gotta sober up. I had never been this high this early. I took a shower. I was still high. I said, maybe music will do the trick. I listened to every CD I had. I was still high. <laughs> Exercise, that's what I'll do. I ran around the block four times, still high. Took a nap, woke up, fucked up. <laughs> I looked at the clock, it was 2.43. I said, God <laughs> damn. Oh shit. Yo, <laughs> that was hilarious. I ain't gonna hold you, man. There's a couple of times in my life where I pray to God. I'm like, God, please, if you if you just get me sober, please, please, please. <laughs> I would never, I would never do this shit again. Please, just please. Uh, twice. One time. No, it actually was three times. I forgot the last one. The last one was the dumbest one. The last one I bought upon myself. One time. Was in the attic, smoking, just blunts going around, just because, just like, there's like three of us. My brother was there, but he doesn't smoke. There's like three of us and like four blunts just going around, gone. That means you always have one blunt and another blunt coming to you, and one person got two blunts. It, 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 it's just, it, it's nonsense. Just getting high for no reason. Yo, when I went to my room that day, bro, I couldn't feel my body. It, it, it was so bad, bro. I was like, God, please. Nigga, I was in there tripping. I was in there tripping. Yo, when I tell you I could feel my my bones, like my... <laughs> I didn't even feel my skin, bro. Uh, that was the first time. The second time, brownies. <laughs> this is so messed up because... I did. I, I thought brownies were a joke, like like edibles. I thought it was a joke, uh, so I made some myself. I, I, I watched the tutorial, but I had to make it a little stronger because you know how people would be wild and they'd be like, "Shit, it's strong and ain't strong," uh, you know. <laughs> but it to work because my coworker wanted some. Bro, she ate two of them bitches. I only had one. She ate, she had two. She might have had three. She was talking shit the whole time. She talking shit for like 30 minutes. Man, you ain't make them strong enough. How did you do them? How did you do She talking. And when I tell you she talking shit, she like, oh, that shit was really trash. I low-key just ate some brownies. She talking trash. <laughs> she going off. Yo. Then she went to the basement. I'm upstairs chilling, watching TV. <laughs> and I heard, Jerry. <laughs> I run down and she like, I think I'm going to die. I think I'm going to die. Yo, bro, she had to go her grandma to come pick her up and she went home. In my head, I'm thinking, oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to jail. <laughs> this bitch gonna die at work. <sighs> that was the second time. The third time, 420. I call my cousin up. I'm like, you know what? We're having a cush out this year. She's like, a cush out? I'm like, yeah, you know how they have a cookout? We're gonna have a cush out. Uh, she's like, what's a cush out? I'm like, look. Kush and candy. We're gonna buy mad weed. Everybody bring weed. We're gonna have weed in rotation. The last motherfucker who stay get the rest of the people's weed. Not only they get the rest of the people's weed, they get the rest of the candy. They get everything. What? Alright, best. Say say less. When I told you, bro, I almost died. My cousin was laughing at me, bro. I was on that couch. I didn't know if I was alive or dead or like in between, like a Purgatory is that what they call it? But I knew I was in between dimensions. And <clears throat> the thing is, I was good, right? I was good. Remind you, all these guys, this is what they do every day. Me, I do it sometimes, right? <laughs> I do it sometimes. Because after my first experience, since I was like, the first one I told you about, I slowed down a lot. Like, I'm like, they got to find me. You feel me? They got to, it used to be wake up, knock on everybody's door. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all on the same page. Now it's like, knock on my door. What's up? Yup, smoke, smoke, smoke. Ah, I'm tired. My back hurt. <laughs> but anyways, look. 
this is what they do, bro. Shit going around. <laughs> we listen in the future. That's that's when um, Fuck Up Some Commas came out. And I remember, I was so high. I thought that was the greatest song ever. That song made me the biggest future fan on earth. Anyways, we listened to Fuck Up Some Commas on repeat for some reason. We just... <laughs> And I'm straight, but I'm not, but I'm not straight though. After a while, I couldn't even feel my fingers. I couldn't feel nothing, and everybody just smiling, having jokes. They talking to me. I'm like, huh, huh, and they laughing loud. He high. <laughs> that's what they tell you. Like, oh, you high. That's a, that's not a compliment, by the way. And they say, oh, he high. Like, but we all high though. But they just said, no, nigga, you high. <laughs> like, like you're a rookie. So. Passing shit around, passing shit around. After a while, I'm just like, yo. <laughs> yo, time the fuck out. Time the fuck out. And then more people are walking there. Oh, shit, what's going on? Oh, shit. And shit, yo, bro, I swear to God, I was on the couch, bro. I was telling my cousin, bro, I can't move, bro. I can't move. It's like, bro, it's time to go, bro. Let's go. I can't. <laughs> I can't move, bro. <laughs> He's like, damn, are you good? I'm like, no, bro, I'm not good. I'm not, yo, I went to fall asleep so bad I couldn't fall asleep. It was bad. Anyways, man, shout out to Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle is hilarious, and Dave Chappelle will always be hilarious, man. Uh, <laughs> a crackhead as the landlord is hilarious. But anyways, I'll see y'all in the next one. And guess what? You better be the Peace.